You can now go faster than three speed in Rainbow Six Siege, and we're going to be breaking that down today. Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and welcome to Six News. Today we are testing the brand new horizontal grip in Rainbow Six Siege. And right off the bat, I'll actually just jump to a Mythbusters here. So the myth is, does the horizontal grip exist? Actually, no, it doesn't. There is no 3D model for it. It is quite literally the none option that was previously here, which would just, of course, give you no grip whatsoever. It does have a fancy icon here, but there is actually no 3D model for any grip because it doesn't exist. It is just quite literally equipping nothing. However, I guess that's where the speed boost comes from. You're just a little bit lighter. So we're going to test exactly what this speed boost means. And it also now, of course, should mean that you can go faster than a three speed, which up until this point has been impossible unless you're like Oryx doing his dash or something like that. So we'll start with how I'm structuring the speed test. As you can see here, I've split the screen in half. We've got one test above, one test below. But the bit to really pay attention to is in the middle. This is an overhead shot of the running track on Stadium. And you can see the operator running along as they go. And this is quite a bit of distance from Rainbow Six Siege. And this is needed in order to see the difference. And be noted that on the overhead view, the race begins and ends at the white mark on the track. And at points, there will be differences in perspectives. So make sure you're watching for the white marks for the start and finish of the race. And we're going to start our test with Sled. He's a one speed operator. Up top, we've got no speed boost. So just a vertical grip in the gun. And below, we've got a pistol out, which gives us a speed boost. And you can see that over this distance, the pistol wins the race by a small amount. Now for our second race, we've got no speed boost up top and speed boost down below, again, still with Sledge. And of course, taking the horizontal grip means you're losing any recoil control or any other benefits that come with any other grip and you're gaining a slight increase in speed. And we can see that the horizontal grip wins, but again, by a small amount. Now, if we now take the horizontal grip and go head to head with the pistol and be warned in this test, the overhead view is a little bit off. So remember that the race starts at the white marks. So the top one is a little bit more left because of the perspective and it'll make it look like it's a little bit quicker, but it's not. And then pay attention when they both end at the white mark as they appear to get to the end at the same time. So pistol and horizontal grip seem to be very similar for speed boosts. Or you might think that we're gonna go into further testing now because that's not everything. So now let's jump into some more testing. So we're gonna go straight to three speeds. Now this is because two speeds are basically right in the middle where you would imagine them to be. And there's no point showing that in the video just to make the video even longer. So we're gonna be looking at three speeds. So this one is gonna be different right off the bat because we've got no speed boost versus pistol. And of course, with a three speed, pulling out your pistol does not make you faster. Now I have seen plenty Ash mains pull out their pistol to go faster in game. So you know, I'm pretty sure this is a common myth that people still get wrong, but I retested it here just to make sure there wasn't a change because they could have changed this here and uh, it is unchanged. Pulling out your pistol does not make a three speed faster. So let's jump in with a horizontal grip because of course, does that make you faster than a three speed now? So up top, we've got no speed boost whatsoever and down below the horizontal grip and the horizontal grip does make you faster. It's only a small amount just like the pistol does on a one speed, but on a three speed, you are now capable of going faster than a three speed. And that used to be a speed limit in Rainbow Six Siege, and it has now been surpassed, only though by a tiny amount. Now we will do another test here, and this is gonna be the pistol versus the horizontal grip. Now because the pistol does not increase the speed of a three speed, they are gonna lag behind in this race. And as a result, the horizontal grip wins. So of course, this is kind of the opposite of what we've seen with the one speed operator where the pistol was giving them a speed increase with the three speed it is not, but the horizontal grip does give the speed increase. So yeah, an interesting and quite complex set of results. But these results are about to get even more interesting when it comes to the movement speed while aiming down sights. But before we jump into that, we're gonna do one last test here. So with this one, we've got three speeds and both with pistols. However, one of them has the horizontal grip equipped on their primary, but of course it is on their back right now. Now this was just to make sure that this was not some sort of passive bonus, because like I say, it is basically having no grip equipped. So you must be running faster because you're slightly lighter. So you'd still be lighter even if your weapon was on your back. So with this test, it was pretty simple and 
kind of what I expected, which is both of them ran at exactly the same speed. So you do have to have your weapon out to get this bonus. So let's move on to the last race. And this one to me is by far the most fascinating. This is speed while aiming down sights. And there's not much in the game that can give you any increase in speed here. So this one was going to be very interesting to see how this turned out. Now, while recording it, I did feel like the horizontal grip was faster. And I was very, very curious to bring this into the video editor and edit up and see if it was indeed the case. And yes, you are faster while ADSing with the horizontal grip. Now, again, it's a small change. Like over this entire course you see here, you're not gonna be ADS probably that long in this game in a building. So this is taken to the extreme in order to actually see it. But certainly you do get a speed boost when you're aiming down sights with this grip. It's teeny tiny, but it is there. And like I say, I did feel it when recording. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. And it's a very hard conclusion for me, a very casual player. This is gonna have no effect on me. I'm just gonna use my usual grips. I do not care about the new one and it's gonna make marginal difference to my overall gameplay. However, I think there's gonna be a ton of people that will definitely pick this grip just for the slight increase in the speed. It is perceivable, I did notice it. And especially if you don't have any problem with recoil in this game, there's not really a downside to not taking it. You're gonna feel snappier and faster in both walking and moving while ADSed. I think you're gonna really enjoy this. And considering I still see Ash mains running around with their pistol out just to go faster, even though it doesn't, I expect this is gonna be a massive hit. And then the other thing is, Sneaky developers, they turned a nothing option, the option to literally have nothing on. They gave it a fancy little icon and a 5% increase in speed. And there we go. We suddenly have a whole new grip that just is basically nothing. Like literally it was nothing last season. And now it's a 5% increase in speed with a new icon. And they have managed to make a new grip from Sweet F All. Now, when the new season does come out, it's going to be an interesting one because we've got these increases in movement speed that we can go for if we want to. But then when it comes to aiming down sights, when the actual animation of aiming down the sights is now a lot slower, it's going to be curious to combine that with potentially faster movement speed, but obviously the animation of aiming down sights being slower. When it all comes together in the new season, I'm curious to how the player base is going to find it when they start playing Deadly Omen. So we'll come back to this video once the new season is out and just let me know what you're feeling about everything when it comes to the overall changes to the entire season with movement speeds and ADS times. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.